this design session with Alt, we are gonna do some DIY fun. We're gonna get creative on some custom dies with some of our new Alt pieces. And it's gonna get really interesting because uh, I don't know what to expect. Dies have a way of doing whatever the heck they wanna do. So that's part of the fun. We have some stencils with some spray paint. We've got some dyes with some little, little bottles. And we are gonna have some fun uh, customizing some things. And my main goal is just make really interesting, unique pieces. And hopefully teach you guys too uh, how to have a little bit of fun at home with dyes, stencils, spray paint, these types of things. So we have some bottles with some dye. This is a black and this is a neon green. So we are gonna add some warm water. We've just added some, we've warmed up some water. So this is about a cup of warm water. So we are gonna put that into one of our little bottles here. This one actually works really well with synthetic blends because there's different ones for cotton and there's different ones for synthetics. So we're gonna do uh, maybe just a little bit more. So my calculations are about one to one. So one cup warm water with one uh, tablespoon of dye. So that is gonna be our, our black dye. You guys know I love neons. We have some, some, some spray paint that we're gonna play around with later that are both neon pink, neon yellow, uh, and this one is a little bit of that neon green. So we're gonna do a similar bit of uh, ratio here with uh, just about, oh wow, that's beautiful, look at that. And we're gonna put that in there. Oh, look at that, that's cool. I like that color already, it's pretty awesome. So naturally it gets diluted as you put it in the water, but the concentrated version, I don't know if you can see that color, it is interesting. And that is what makes art and expression so fun. You don't always know exactly what's gonna happen. You have a theory, you have a thought, you have ambition, you have intent, but seeing how it comes out at the end is part of the fun. I love awesome surprises when it comes to art, and this is gonna be really cool. I picked a white shirt, because it'll pick up the dye really well. This one is just blank on the front. Uh, but it's got a bunch of printed text on the back and you wanna get it damp. So we're gonna dip it in this, this water just so that it gets a little damp. And we are just gonna spiral this thing out from the middle, keep it really tight like that. And I'm just gonna kinda get it cinched up. I've got a bunch of different, uh, I've got a bunch of different rubber bands here. Uh, I'm gonna place that here on my little tray so that the dye can go through to the bottom. Get into it just like this. Put a little there. Oh gosh, I got some on me. <laughs> We're gonna just kind of like inject some of this in here. Now it's getting a little bit gray, so you can see we've we've got some of the color kind of going in there. All right, I'm gonna let that soak in that color a little bit. So my view is we're gonna have a kind of crystal wash pattern. We're gonna have a bit of a randomized crystal wash pattern. We're just gonna have some fun with that. We're just gonna see what happens with that. I love that idea. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> so I think part of art and creativity is it's okay to have fun with it. It's okay to not know what's gonna happen. It's okay to just go for it and try something different. So we are gonna let this one set. I do have a color setter, uh, which will solidify it. We're gonna let this go for about 20, 30 minutes. All right, so we just added our color stay fixative. We baked this up in plastic wrap, and now we're soaking it in the water mixture with the color stay fixative. Uh, we also wrapped it in plastic wrap and baked it in the microwave for two minutes. Uh, and that thing came out piping hot, and then we tossed it in this little bath, which has the color stay fixative. And as you can see, it's gonna start showing those crazy random dye patterns emerge, and then we're gonna dry it off, and then we're gonna spray paint it. <laughs> so. All right, so we are just untwisting it, kind of getting off the last 
the last. Oh wow, that is so awesome. We are getting the last of the rubber bands off. And you see that reset with some of the really cool stuff here. Let's put it over. And you see that it's got little moments. Little moments like that. Wow. I'm kind of in love with that. We are going to let this thing dry out in the sun. You can see, look at that on the collar. Oh man, that's so awesome. That is so awesome.